All right, today, guys, I wanted to make a video on how to get the extended daytime uh, mod for Valheim real quick. Uh, I'll leave a link to this page down in the description below. Uh, as you can see here, requirements are the Valheim Beepin EX mod, so we're going to have to get that first. And I'll leave a link to this page too down below. And it'll save that file. Save the downloads. And when that, once that is downloaded, here, we'll head back over to the uh, extended daytime mod. Go to files. And I'm going to manually download it. And you're probably going to have to sign in to get this. I had to. So just click the slow download. And then once this is downloaded, save the file. Save the download. And what we can do is we can head over here to Steam, right click on Valheim, go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. And what we're going to have to do is, I'm going to go over here to my downloads because that's where I have the, uh, the mods at. So we're going to have to use this one first because this is like a plug-in to this mod manager. So we'll open up this one, go in here. And we have to highlight all of this. Right click, hit cut. Hit the back arrow, back arrow, back arrow. It'll take me back into my Valheim. I can right click in here and hit paste. And then we're going to have to wait for all this to copy in there. Might be some files that need to be replaced. So we'll just wait until that's done. And we'll see. Alright, now that that's done. What we can do is head into the Beepin EX and plugins. This is where uh, the mod's going to go. So we'll head over to the downloads and go into the daytime mod, plugins, extended daytime, and we can get this one right here. I'm going to right click, hit cut, I'm going to head on back into the plugins folder, right click in here, and hit paste. And we'll fire up Valheim. You have to start it up once for it to uh, generate the config file. So we'll start that up and then we'll take a look at the config. Shouldn't take too long to start up. But uh, once it loads up, we'll close out of it and customize the daytime length. I'm looking at the mod page here and uh, it says like the default is two. I don't know the scale for it though. That's the only thing. It doesn't say anything about the scale for how long it extends the daytime. So I guess you could just mess around with it until you figure out exactly how you'd want it. And uh, it, for installing it for your server, it's pretty much the same thing. You just copy all the files into the same location. Uh, so yep, now this is loaded up. Close out of it. And we're going to head back into the uh, Valheim folders, open files, browse, and then we'll head into the BeepNEX config, and here's the daytime config. Now you can usually edit with a uh, notepad. Uh, if you click this open with, if there's no options for you to open with anything, click open with, and more apps and you can use notepad. I'm going to be editing with Notepad++, uh, but as you can see, default day value is two. I'm going to just change this a little bit, but you can customize it however you want and just test with it and see what you'd like to use. Oh, hopefully this video helped you out and make sure you save the file. Uh, and then you can just launch at Valheim and test it out and mess around with it a bit. Hopefully this video helped you out, and uh, if it did, make sure you like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.